Hey guys, welcome to Beyond 50 Skin. My name is Cindy. If you're new, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And you'll know I don't really do very many vlogs, but today I wanted to show you how I got from snowing and zero degrees to 60 degrees for a two day vacation with just a backpack and a small little purse. So if you're interested in how I travel light, stay tuned, we're gonna get right into it. Just to unpack everything, I'm going to show you how I got everything that I'm going to need for a two-day trip in this small little backpack, and I went from zero degrees and snowing to 60 degrees and raining. So I haven't traveled a lot on my own until I was kind of now an older adult. I always, I got married really young, I had kids really young, always did the whole family traveling thing where we had like loads of everything, and then when my husband and I did travel, he kind of taught me to travel light. And so I've gotten used to bringing just what we need and being able to move quickly. So I like to have a backpack style and I love this because I can throw it over my shoulders or I can swing it across my body and I love that. When, my, when I travel with my husband, he's the type that we're not missing a flight, we run through airports and so we are always on the go and I have to be able to move quickly. I can't be dragging too many suitcases. I'm like, when I do bring a suitcase, it's one roller bag. So I learned to travel light when he and I started traveling, just the two of us. And my dad was always one to teach me kind of safety with traveling. So I have a few tips to show you along the way and what I've learned. I'm gonna show you when I left this morning, why I dressed the way I did in zero degree weather and what I did with my all the accoutrements and coats that I would need for getting from snow to rain. So as you can see here in the next clip, I'm gonna talk about the layers that I wore and why I wore them and why I dressed the way I did. So I'll do a quick voiceover. When you're packing light, it's great to pack neutrals because you can mix and match outfits. Grabbing a scarf can be that little extra layer of warmth you need in so many situations. I like to dress in layers from long underwear to undershirts to cardigans. That way you can take it off and get cool or you can put it back on and stay warm. This thin long underwear, I think I got it from Target, goes under any pair of pants that I need it to and keeps me warm and cozy. So I left the house in this big heavy coat, so what do I do with it? My trick is to fold it up and tuck it under the seat in the back of the car along with my mittens. So that's how I get rid of the big heavy coat and I switch into my lighter coat. I always like to travel with a light squishy jacket that has a little bit of loft in it for warmth, but that has a hood. So, and pockets, the zipper pockets is always important for me for my light jacket. The second layer under that is my cardigan. I always like to travel with the cardigan. You can use it to keep warm on the airplane, take it off and just cover your legs with it. I just love traveling with a cardigan. It, um, like I said, it can kind of dress things up a little bit or you can dress it down. I love having a cardigan with me. And the one piece of clothing that I used to never travel with, but now I do, and I learned this from my mother, is to bring a scarf. A scarf can dress up an outfit, it can keep you warm, you can throw it over your legs. I love having a scarf and I love having a black scarf because it can be a little bit elegant. So if I needed to go out, I'm not doing any evening entertaining or going out to any evening events on this vacation, but if I wanted to dress this look up where I have this turtleneck and my cardigan and my scarf, what I could do is do a long piece of jewelry, do some dangly earrings, and I would have thrown in a little pair of flat black flats, really lightweight black flats. So that's how I would have like easily been able to pop in a few extra things, and I still could have I still had room in this pack that I could have gotten those items in. I just didn't need them on this particular trip. But one way you can dress something up is just throw on some dangly earrings, a little bit of jewelry, and your scarf, of course, and a little pair of flats. But I left today in boots because it was definitely cold and these little booties are the best because they can go from casual to functional they have a good tread on them if I need to run so I love these little boots getting yourself a good pair of little booties that can go with tucked pants flare pants anything and I like black black again is a great travel color so I chose some black booties this morning okay of course I have my PJs and then the other trick that I like is bringing layers that have one a set of long, you know a shirt with a long sleeve, a shirt with a short sleeve, and then I love these tanks because you can get away with just putting a little tank under the cardigan if it's really warm out, or you can layer it up under your long sleeves or under your short sleeves to get a little bit more warmth. 
I wear these little tanks all the time and I have found them really perfect for traveling. So I know you guys want to see the skincare and the hair care and the personal items that I brought, but before that, I thought I'd take you out to dinner with me. I think learning how to dine on your own is a bit of an art. I definitely struggled with it the first couple times I tried it. I was so uncomfortable and nervous, but the more I did it, I really enjoyed dining by myself. And so we're going to head out to dinner. I'm ready to head out to dinner, but I wanted to let you know I was also able to fit in a fold up umbrella in the side of that backpack. So I always think an umbrella is invaluable. Sometimes these coats can't keep you quite dry in the middle of a downpour. So I always have a trusty umbrella. And I wanted to show you this cute little side shoulder bag that I have. I love this little chapani bag because you can use clip that comes with it to clip this closed so it can't be zipped open and you can also just tuck it under your coat. It's small enough to fit my phone plus everything I need, a little bit of extra cash, extra credit card, and I can also wear it under under my coat for safety. And so I love this little Sherpani bag over the shoulder bags and we're off to dinner. It's pretty windy out here and so you might not be able to hear me. So now what you all have been waiting for, what was I able to get in my little online Ziploc bag for skincare, hair care, and makeup? All right, let's get into it and the wash off the day. So I first travel with these little contact cases when I'm just going for a short trip. I just fill them up with my skincare. So I have in here, I have a cleanser, a serum, and a moisturizer. And then in this one, I have my foundation, which isn't a foundation. I use just a small amount of cover up. In this case, it's going to be Just a Touch by Trini London. And that's what I use to cover up any imperfections after I'm going to apply my sunscreen tomorrow. Just in the spots where I need it and over my lids to kind of cover up the, the, red, the redness on my lids and my veins. And I find that that along with my mascara, is really kind of all I need. And my lipstick, of course. And I bring, I purposely bring a lipstick. This is the kind of a balm little stick. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one, and I can't remember. I think it's in Phrygia. But what I like about this is it's super moisturizing. It's so close to my lip color that it can just double as, put some on since I haven't washed my face yet. It can just double as a lip balm, and I don't have to bring an extra lip balm. Just for a short short period, I won't have to do that. So I use, my makeup is going to be the Just a Touch that I popped in here, my mascara, and a lippy, and that's it. That's it for the makeup. Okay, and my skincare, just a little bit of skincare, not a ton, just a moisturizer, sorry, a cleanser, a serum, and a moisturizer, the end. And of course, SPF, but I put that in another container. Oh, and I did, I did bring a mist, <laughs> you know me, for tomorrow morning I'm going to have to spritz my face with a mist, and I think I decanted in here the frulic acid mist. <laughs> toothpaste, and my little travel toothbrush, and I put Trader Joe's hand cream in here. This I use on the plane, and if I run out of my facial moisturizer, it actually, in a pinch, can double as a facial moisturizer. It's enough to give me a quick coating for a body moisturizer. I love the Trader Joe's versatile hand and cream. I think it's Moroccan oil moisturizer. It's a hand and body moisturizer. It's unscented. It's fantastic. It can cover <laughs> cover you from moisture from head to toe. Okay, and the sunscreen that I chose is the Biosoms 30 SPF. This is a mineral sunscreen, and it, I just brought their travel size, which I really like. And that's for tomorrow. And then, oh, of course, two sunscreens and unseen sunscreen. So I brought two sunscreens. The unseen sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen. And then, let's see, oh, and my little pill case and my eye drops. And um, another moisturizer, a little, oh gosh, I have to get my glasses on for this one. I think it's Epion's. A little, yeah, an Epion's moisturizer. This is a lightweight moisturizer. So I have three moisturizers at this point. <laughs> you never have enough moisturizer, right, folks? Okay, and then, of course, my contact lenses for tomorrow. And, oh my gosh, I didn't bring a retinol, a little travel size retinol. This is the Luna from 
Sunday Riley, I believe. Yeah, Sunday Riley's Luna. So I always, you know, dig into my little travel sizes and sample sizes when I travel, of course, like we all do. And that's, I think, it. another set of contact lenses. So that's it. I really pare down when I'm traveling for my skincare, but I don't, I make sure I bring the essentials so that I have a little bit of makeup, definitely all my skincare that I'll need. So I'm gonna get cleansing. That's how I get my skincare, hair care, and makeup in one small zippy bag to last me for two days. And I'm going to show you one extra travel tip that I've learned if I think I might be coming back with more than I left. So what I do is I nest my bags, and I'm going to show you how I do that. I didn't record it before I left, but I'll record it when I get back and I'll show you. I know I wasn't coming back with anything extra this time, but it is a great travel trip that I know you'll enjoy. So you can do my next little travel tip one of two ways. You can either put your zippy bag inside your backpack. I love this little blue bag. It's one of my favorite travel bags. It holds a ton. It has a sturdy Ziploc top and wonderful canvas handles. I absolutely love it. I've taken it everywhere. I think I've had it for maybe 10 years and there's not a hole in it, has no fraying. The other way I can do it is I can put my backpack inside the zip bag and then just take the zip bag along with me. I thought you'd also like to see the interior of my backpack. It has a laptop pocket, which I didn't end up needing today, a really sturdy deep bottom with little side pockets for all your small items. I love the handles of this backpack. They're reinforced with leather. Also the special material that it's made out if you can't cut this material or slice it. The zipper pockets have an extra loop for safety. You tuck them in and someone can't unzip it as you're walking along. You can just put some small items in there. I usually put um, extra cash or credit cards. And then there's an open pocket, which I don't typically use. And then this pocket in the front, which I put all my skincare, hair care, and makeup for carry on. I also love this backpack because there's a special zipper at the bottom where it holds in the backpack strap so they're not dangling. I think that's a wonderful safety feature, especially if you're using it as an over the shoulder bag or a handle bag. The backpack straps just tuck right in. Another safety feature is this loop, steel loop that you can attach to a cafe chair. And if you attach it, then someone can't just quickly grab your bag and run. So I love my backpack. It has wonderful safety features. So I think I've gotten away with a really nice daytime look just using the three makeup items that I brought with me. I'm off for a day of exploring. I hope you enjoyed today's travel tips for traveling in one small backpack and a small little over the shoulder bag. If you have any travel tips, definitely leave them in the comments below. I always love to hear what you guys have to say. And thanks for joining me and I'm wishing you a skintastic day. Take care. And I will throw a few clips of my exploring during today and I hope you enjoy watching. Take care everybody. So I want to show you this beautiful old hotel in the lobby. Fun facts about the Algonquin Hotel are it was named after the Native American tribe whose territory extended down through parts of New York City. It originally had a $2 a night price tag. You can still get a $10,000 martini with a diamond. It's also famous for a poker game that took place between the members of its round table. Harold Ross won a handsome amount of money and he used it to found the New Yorker.